Hey friends, it's Becky, workout time. I'm so excited, happy Advent. We are moving right along. This is our third workout. I'm so proud of you all. Um, today we have a 20 minute metabolic workout. Super excited, we have five sets, 30 second intervals, and um, it's gonna get your heart rate up, but give you just the right amount of rest. And it's great for all fitness levels. So I'm super excited about that. Super excited about our Advent series on the blog and what we are learning through God's Word. Um, and today we're going to just focus in on um, Mary hearing from the Word of God. So we've talked about logos means the Word. And Jesus was the Word. He was the Logos, capital L. But yet he came to speak a Logos to Mary. And so that is just the same as what he does to us. He is the living word. This scripture is living and breathing. This is his living logos to us. And he is always speaking to us through his word, through his Holy Spirit. And so we are just going to open our ears and open our hearts. He can even speak to us during our workouts. I mean, he is not limited to anything. So let me just read this scripture over you. And this is gonna be our scripture for the workout today. So John 1, 1 through 3 says, In the beginning was the Word, was the Logos, right? Was the Word, and the Word was with God. So the Word that speaks to us is the Word that was with God. Remember I said that the Word that was face-to-face -face with God now wants to be face-to-face -face with Mary. That's amazing. It just blows my mind. So the Word was with God. The Word was God. Jesus incarnate, fully God, fully man. All things were made through him. All things. All things means all things. You were made through him. All things were made through him. So as we work out today, we want to be listening for a living word from the Lord. Just like Mary, he spoke to Mary. She had ears to hear. Remember those words, that word hear means to comprehend. She comprehended, she understood what he was saying to her. So let's just open our hearts today as we work out. Let's warm up our bodies and we'll come back to the scripture throughout the workout. So I have my cameraman in the background, Grant, Grant Crenshaw. So I'm excited about having Grant with me today. It makes it a little more fluid. All right, ready to warm up. Here we go, deep inhale, exhale, again, deep breath. Good. Just tapping our feet. I need to put my hair up before I start this. Oh no. I don't have a funny tail holder. <laughs> Grant, what am I going to do? All right. Just getting our heart rates up. Deep breath again. Little squat. Take it down and up. Just warming up our quads and our hamstrings. Two pulses down, take it down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, good, side to side, just open it up the side body, I'm really going to have to get a ponytail holder, this thing won't work, maybe I have one in my pocket, and I don't need that just yet, good, big circle, don't want to hit my mistletoe. Advent workout problems, right? Back down, two squats, and up. Down, and up. Down, and up. Back to that side to side. Good, bring the arms across the front body, and then overhead. Reach up. For this workout, you're gonna need Light dumbbells if you have them. Do you want me? I don't know, my camera needs things. Knees up. Hamstring curls. Back to those two squats. And up. And up. Back to that toe tap. Side body. Overhead, across the body, knees up, 
and hamstrings. These workouts are meant for you to do quickly. I know I had a lot of people reach out to me saying, am I gonna have time? <laughs> yes, you're gonna have time, I promise. Last time through, overhead. Swing it low. Knees up. And hamstrings. All right, are you ready? So, now we have 30 second Tabatas. Woo, shedding it down already. Great, I'm gonna have to have you sneak off and get me a ponytail holder. Crippled, do you mind? You're amazing. <laughs> He's jumping the wall. Okay, I will need your Tabata timer. I thought it was gonna go smoothly. At home workouts are the best just for this reason. So let me show you what we're gonna do first. You're gonna start with that squat. We just prepped our legs for this move right here. So you're gonna pulse squat, and then you're gonna upright row. It's okay if you don't have weights. Pulse squat, upright row. Pulse squat, upright row. 30 seconds. Then we're gonna turn it over for an upright, or excuse me, a bent over fly. So you're here, you're just gonna open it up, bring it back together. Open it up, bring it back together. 30, 30, three times through. Then we're gonna have one cardio move for 30 seconds. This one's gonna be a squat jump. So down and up for 30 seconds and a 30 second rest, okay? So I'm gonna be the Tabata timer until Grant comes back. Okay, here we go. Grab your weights if you have them. So you have a pulse squat with an upright row. Pulse squat, upright row. Have 30 seconds, you wanna engage the core, down and up, down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. You always wanna inhale when the move's a little easier, exhale when it's harder. Remember at the end of this 30, we're turning right back over for a back fly. Flip and bring it up. Slow and controlled. So from the front, here, your chest is still open wide. Open your heart. Keeping the neck in line with the spine. At the end of this 30, we're going right back into that double pulse squat with our upright row. So the toes are slightly pointing out, your weight's going down to the center. Inhale down, exhale up. Whew. <laughs> you brought me two little bitty pantyhose. <laughs> You're the best. All right, here we go. So your feet, your weight's in the center of your foot. And your feet can be a little further apart, but don't go further apart than shoulder width. Okay, one more time through, and then we have that um, squat jump, and then we get to rest. And I'm gonna pull my hair back. Woo! How we doing out there? Remember, this is our get-to. We don't have to do anything. Our bodies are the temple of the living God. Jesus came into Martha and Mary's home. He wanted to be with them. Just a foreshadowing. He wants to be with us. He came to make his home within us. Isn't that crazy? So good. He wants to be with you. He wants to speak with you, speak to you. Last time. When our bodies move, our brains are changing. That's why it's so important to feed it with the Word of God. When we work out, I tell you, I get so much out of a, a message that I listen to when I run or work out because it's just absorbing, consuming the Word. All right, you ready? Squat jump. 
Now, modified, you can just keep it right there. But you just want to make sure that your knees are not coming past that 90 degree angle. Reach really tall off the toes. Thirty seconds is coming. You get to rest. And we're moving on to our next set. Woo! Rest it out. We have reverse lunges coming up for the side raise. Let me show you. Oh, it's perfect, man. All right. So reverse lunge to the side. I'll show you. Reverse. Reverse, side raise. Reverse, reverse, side raise. Here we go. Reverse, reverse, side raise. Whew. Again, the knee is so important that it does not move past that 90 degree angle. Working the shoulders. Again, keep your heart open, shoulder blades rolled, shoulders rolled back, bring the shoulder blades together. Woo! Next move, bicep curls. So, just a regular curl right here. In our second set, we're gonna do hammer curls. Then our third set, we're actually gonna turn the weights up a little bit more. Focus on three different angles for our biceps. Good stuff. After this 30 seconds, so we're going back to that reverse, reverse, shoulder raise. Build the muscle. So good. Strong bones. I find myself looking down too much. Look up. Bicep curl hammer. Give your legs a break. Just really focus on your core right here. Shoulders are rolled back, chest is open. Engage your core, engage your pelvic floor. Pull everything up. It's all abdominal. Even your pelvic floor, did you know that? It's part of your abdominal wall. <laughs> part of the Doing great. Reverse, reverse. Shoulder raise. Last time through. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Moving into Christmas. Here we go. So good to have these quick workouts with you. Get on in if you have time to go for a walk. It's nice. Do that too. We'll do it on another day. Three of these a week. And the other days. Just move your body. So take it out wide this time. What is your cardio move, you ask? You have a 30 second quick feet. Like we're on the football field. You're doing awesome. So we're gonna put our weights down if you have them. Are you ready? Quick feet. Right here. Modification. Great, slow. Get your workout. Just have fun. Get a 30 second break. Right after this. I'm going to start looking at Grant. Like, how much time do I have? This is hard. 30 second rest. What's next? Deadlift and a kettlebell swing. So I'm going to show you from the side. You have your weights, chest is open. It's like you're going to shut a car door with your bottom. Come right back up. Car door. And then you're going to set one weight down. Kettlebell swing. This is a hip thruster. It looks like an arm workout. But you're lifting that weight up with the hips. Deadlift, ready, go. Car door, 
same call. Inhale down, exhale up. If you're more advanced, of course, prep heavier weight. I've got a lighter weight here, which is good. It's all good. No right or wrong. You're doing it right. If you're doing it, you're doing it right. Kettlebell. One weight comes down. Pressing the hips forward. One set, almost done. Engage the core every time. The abs are always invited to the party. Grab those weights. Take it down. Stand tall. If your weight's heavier, you're obviously going slower. Right? That's okay. Slow and controlled movement. Weightlifting. Builds bone strength, helps with stability, all of those things for longevity's sake that we need to be thinking about now. It's not about six pack abs or losing all the weight and having the perfect body. It's about playing with your grandkids when you're old, rolling around the floor with your puppy. That's what we're working for. Functional fitness, functional health. I'm loving doing this with y'all. Blesses me. Is that three sets? Grant. I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know either. Let's do it one more time. You might be getting a bonus set. Grant, you got a new job. <laughs> Keep up with how many sets I'm doing. <laughs> I'm really bad about that. I just get to talking to you and then I'm like, Never on. <laughs> Let's just do it one more time. This one's like the cherry on top. <laughs> What's her cardio move? Maybe I'm just delaying. Oh, we have a fast punch. I love kickbox. As rep well moves forward, we're definitely going to be doing more kickboxing. When I first started teaching fitness in the 90s, Tybo was so popular. Y'all remember Tybo? Oh man, it was awesome. You need to speed this up. You have 30 second rest after this. Oh, take a break. What's next? Oh, sumo squat with an upright row. Oh, we did that. Oh no, here we go. Overhead press, sorry. So you're gonna go straight down to the center. Overhead press, followed by a tricep and a pulse squat, okay? I'll show you when we get there. You ready? Sumo? <laughs> okay, Grant, what's your job besides dancing in the background? <laughs> We're on our first set, he said. I have very fun kids. <laughs> I can't look at him, y'all. He's dancing in the background. I wish I could flip the camera around. He says, yeah. Oh, this one. Woo! We have that tricep extension. So weights come together. I'm going to go from the side to down. Right there. If you don't like the squat, that's fine. So if you're a yogi, this would be like chair. So it's just enough tension to make you mad, right? Woo! How we doing, Grant? How many seconds? Oh, we switch. Oh. I 
we doing? <laughs> Grant, you've got to stop. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Oh. Almost there. Three, two, one. Back to chair. One more set. This one's getting me. How about you? How we doing? I wish I could see your face. Woo! You can drop a weight too. Great. We got this. Three, two, and take that break. Last set. Is this it? Was that our cardio? Is this our third step? So now he's playing games. Oh, the joy of exercise, moving our bodies. Such a gift, such a gift. Thank you, Lord. The word was God. He came to dwell amongst us. Chair, last time, can we have our cardio? What is it? <laughs> Do you really wanna know? Burpees, 30 seconds, that's it. So if you need to set a weight down, let me demonstrate the modification for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the chair. You wouldn't think that that little teeny tiny squat would make a big difference. Burpee. All right, let me modify to show you. So you go plank, up, stand. Plank, up, stand. Of course, a regular burpee. You can add a hop at the top. Modified. Or forward. If you want to add the push up, add the push up. Break. Thank you, Jesus. Guess what? We're almost done. You have a push up and a hip ridge. Push up and a hip bridge. You ever know what a push up is? And then we're just going to flip right over for a bridge. Hope y'all can still see me. Modified would just be on your knees and go. 30 seconds. Now, you've got to pace these out, right? Full or modified, your toys. You can also get on a, a raised surface. I don't know if you can see me now, but that's an option as well. Hip bridge, flip on your back. Right here, glute squeeze and down. If your weight is handy, just rest that on your hip. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. If you want a little extra on this set, stick out one leg. Next set, other leg. Back to those push-ups. Second set. When it gets hard, where do we go when it's hard in life? Go to the Father. He wants to hear about it, even your hard workouts. Lord, in my weakness, make me strong, right? And flip. Modification for a harder workout. Bring one leg up. You can add the weight as well. Or you can just do a regular hip bridge. You do you, promise me. Grant, guess what? This is your gift to another under the tree, y'all. What you wanted? Come on, I just one more time with you. <laughs> you did that, thank you. One more set, flip it. Do these push-ups like you love them. Give a gratitude, thank you, Lord, for 
thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thanks for speaking to me. Y'all, he even speaks to us when we sleep. He never rests. His eyes always on you. I have literally woken up several times with a word from him. He has no boundaries. Oh, last set. And then we have cardio. Mountain climbers. So proud of you. You've almost made it. You're the best. We're going to flip right over going to those mountain climbers. I'll show modifications. Here we go. Get your cardio on. This is mountain. You can just slow it down. Right? Or you can hold plank. You can be on a raised surface. What's great about these workouts is that you can do them again and again. So if you're like, okay, I kind of know what we're doing now. I'm going to do that one tomorrow. Rest. Oh, you did it. I'm going to do some abs and cool down. And you're done for the day. So everybody on their back. This is going to be quick. Oh. So chest. Open wide, elbows out. You're leading with your chest, not your elbows. So keep it wide. Just give me a little crunch. 30 seconds right here. We've got a few bonus seconds here. I love it that you all are choosing what's better this Christmas. It's so easy to just punt on fitness during the holidays, but you're not. You're the best. So proud of you. Even if you get one of these in a week. Y'all, that's still amazing. Hands are going to go underneath your lower back. Bring the legs up. Little raise. chest, leaving those elbows out wide. Bicycles, we want to do this. No. Keep it open. Oh, that's it. Stretch out. Turn it down just a touch, G. Bring one knee up. rush the cool down too much in life, right? Go, 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 go. This is important. My tree's only halfway put up yet. I have a feeling that y'all are going to see the entire progression of the tree this year. <laughs> it needs some work. Roll it up. Oh. Have a butterfly stretch. My friend Luann is watching, I bet. She loves butterflies. Oh, and Dolly and JoJo. <laughs> she loves butterflies. And her mom. Fly away. JoJo, you want to come say hi to everybody? Come here. You can say hi to everybody. This is 
it's our girl. This is Jojo. I work out with that. Push the legs out just a little bit more. The reality is, is that if you have a dog, she's probably on the floor with you right now anyway. So we're just keeping it real. So you're gonna feel this stretch more in your outer thigh, on down the leg a little bit, not so much your inner thigh. Extend the legs out straight. Give me a deep inhale up. Exhale forward. Deep breath. Inhale up. Exhale forward. All right, just find a comfortable position, however you want to sit, and I'm just going to read over you one more time. The best part. Logos. Think about that. The living word. The word of God that spoke all things into creation broke the seal of heaven to be with you. That's what Christmas is all about, about Charlie Brown, right? Jesus came, he broke the seal of heaven because he wants to be with you. In the beginning was the word, and I would say that he had you on his mind. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was was God. All things were made through him. All things were made through him. Everything was made through him. And I'm so thankful that we have our bodies that live and move and have our being in Christ Jesus and that we can work out not out of drudgery or punishment, but that we can exercise out of a place of joy and worship. So today, I love you all. Thank you so much for being with me during this workout. I'm excited for what you all are learning in our Advent series, and I cannot wait for next week. God bless. Have a great day.